man, it's cold today. Look. Oh, you can't see it. But you can see my breath when I'm talking. It's minus 5 degrees. Feels like minus 11 degrees. Oh, my God. But anyways, it's Friday, so tomorrow I get to sleep in. I am so excited for that. And also, today, because I did a lot of things yesterday, there's not much to do today, which is amazing. We're already on chapter four of the book. Um, and then in class today, we're just reading some more. So it's pretty chill. All right, hello. So it's last period. I have my spare and we are going back to the shopping center thing near our school um, and we're gonna go Starbies. But I forgot that we said we were gonna go Starbies, so I'm not gonna get anything because I forgot my wallet. But it's okay because my friend is getting coffee and she's gonna be so happy and serotonin. And also look at my eye when I go into the sun, ready? Whoa, look how, okay, that. That's blinding, but like they look cool. <laughs> okay, so we're standing here waiting for the bus, and I just looked over, and this is what I saw. Merked. Welcome to, I'm guessing someone from our high school did that, so welcome to our school. <laughs> Alright, so I got my Starbucks water. I am officially Sia now. <laughs> but we are going to do a taste test. Alright, ready? Okay, it's good water. I think filtered. This tastes filtered. Tastes good. I approve. Cheers. All right, so I'm walking back home now. The bus driver missed my stop, but it's okay. Cause like my house and my neighborhood are kind of like in the middle of two stops. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's just kind of annoying, you know? But it's okay. Um, anyways, I'm going to go watch the world, the end of the World Cup game, Argentina versus Netherlands. So, let's go check that out. Sorry, I just turned onto my street and my truck is gone. So, I'm like, where did my parents go? And now I'm confused. It's one nothing. 70 minutes. But tell me, Netherlands, the orange team, does not look like they just escaped from jail and they're prisoners. Tell me they don't. Messi scored off the penalty. I didn't get it. But I didn't get it on camera. But you guys probably already watched the game, so it's fine. Alright, hi guys. <laughs> so it's after dinner. And the Argentina game, I didn't film it because I was just like glued to the screen. <laughs> Um, but basically, the Nether Le Netherlands came back and tied it 2-2. Um, and they scored their second goal, like, within the last minute. Like, it was 90 minutes plus 10 minutes at the end. And then they scored it, with it like, right as it was, like, 10 minutes, 30 seconds or something. Because they got a free kick. But, wow. You guys probably already know. You probably watched the game. But, whoa. So then they went into extra time obviously and no one scored so then they went to penalty shootouts and argentina won which everyone probably knows <laughs> but anyways yeah tomorrow i'm like excited to watch the portugal game and the england and france game especially the england versus france game because i feel like i've heard that that's a big rivalry so i feel like it's gonna be a really interesting game um but yeah wow all I gotta say, I was like, Netherlands could have won there. That would have been, like, another upset after the Brazil upset that already happened earlier today. Whoa. Anyways, <laughs> um, now it is time for Advent. Woo! See, I'm not a soccer fan, but, like, when it comes to the World Cup, this is the first year I've ever watched the World Cup, and for some reason, now I'm interested, so... I don't know. I never liked watching soccer, only playing it. But now I'm like, you know what? It's kind of fun to make fun of them as they roll on the ground being all dramatic. But anyways, day nine. 
right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Here we are. It's light and it, oh, it does shake. Okay, I was like, there sounds like nothing. <laughs> Peruvian Amazon on the box. All right, and it says, from handcrafted shea butter in Ghana to recycled paper gift bags and boxes from Nepal, we source ingredients and accessories right across the world. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's the one thing I found cool about like the Body Shop products is on every like different scent, it's like um, mango seeds imported from India or like <laughs> like strawberry extract or whatever imported from this country like it's it's always from a different country so that's what I found cool but is this gonna be something shea butter I don't know oh it is something oh my god it is something shea butter but it's so tiny it's a hand bomb. Okay, so this is a hand bomb. Now hold on. When I first opened it, I thought it was a hand cream, which is this size. Let's just compare that for a second. Look. <laughs> it's like half the size. It's literally a third of the size. This is 30 milliliters, this is 10 milliliters. I'm guessing this one is for like really, really, really dry hands. And like you only use a little bit. And this one's just like hand cream for fun. <laughs> um, but that's cool because I've never tried their hand bombs. Let's take a look. Yep, smells like shea, but oh yeah, that 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 is definitely that is definitely thicker consistency to this. Look, wait, hold on. Look at this one. Let me get one that's open. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Normally, <laughs> their hand creams are not sealed, okay? Oh, uh, because I always get them in gift sets, so they're not sealed. But this one. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Here is a coconut one. Check the consistency of this one. See that? Like, very creamy. Just like regular lotion. But this one is, like, thicker, and it's definitely more, like, intense repair. I just dropped it. Um, but that's really cool, because now I get to try a new type of product. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.